Hello, hey, it's Chris. In this video, we're going to take a look at Road Warrior Plus paint protection film that you roll on like a thick coat of paint. Road Warrior Plus liquid paint protection. A bunch of instructions on the back. Essentially, it says don't shake it up because you don't want to get bubbles in it and put it on when it's dry. You can put it over top of wax on your car as well. So the Trans Am has just been washed and waxed on the front end. And as we're all aware, look at that curvy front end. I had thought about taking this to a place, our local vinyl shop, and getting traditional paint protection film. Because I have paint protection film on the headlight covers here. I put some of it on myself on the rocker panels and the bottom of the door back there. So when I'm autocrossing, cone scuffs will come off real easily. But you know, look at this. There's holes for the uh, driving lamps and the turn signals and a little vent there that doesn't do anything. A flat sheet uh, of uh, film is never gonna be able to bend and get inside those curves, inside that hole, or anywhere deep inside here or here. Uh, I've seen the template for it and it looks like it just kinda covers the surface but it doesn't go into any of these holes. So you're still gonna get bugs and stuff that go in there and lots of road chips. And of course, some of us still have this uh, front license plate uh, cover thing here and uh, this embossed Firebird. You're never going to be able to get flat paint protection film stuck way down there uh, as well. So we're going to use this roll-on film and see how well this does over the course of a couple days or a couple weeks coming up at the next autocross. I've got myself a handy roll of blue painter's tape. I'm going to use this to make some nice sharp edges and other videos have said that you should uh, put this uh, put the tape on and then as you're rolling the paint over don't let the paint dry completely maybe let it tack up a little bit or peel the paint uh, peel the messing tape off right away so then you get a nice sharp line and you don't have the uh, paint protection films actually sticking onto the messing tape. Road Warrior Plus sells two kits you can get either two bottles or one bottle and I also bought a couple extra little paint trays and rollers to use. So if this stuff is water soluble, I can probably clean these rollers out a little bit, and probably peel some of the stuff off of uh, these rolling pans easily. But you know, they're only like $3 extra. So two bottles of this will definitely last me all summer, even putting this on a couple times. I imagine it's probably gonna last me a couple years. I never drive my car in the rain. Uh, maybe I'm gonna hit a rainstorm coming home from autocross or a track day. Um, and that might be the worst thing. Maybe that'll kind of peel it off and I'll have to reapply. So I don't expect it to come off real fast off of my car. Okay, I got some masking tape on here. Put it around the uh, headlights. I kind of don't want to have to paint all the way into that headlight edge. Uh, when I get to this section, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll this stuff in here as far as I need to go. And uh, of course, on the front bumper here, just gonna roll it across, and it's just gonna wherever it lands on that edge. Uh, on this crevice here is where it's going to land. I'm sure it'll peel off nice and easily. But uh, just a little bit of freehand masking tape, and this, you know, took me like five minutes to put on. Oh, see, it's good. I ordered a couple of these. This one rolling pan here came with a little crack on it. It's kind of at the back, so if I was careful, I could probably use it. But eh, you know, why risk making a mess? Maybe I'll tape it up or something. Hey, you know, JB Well to the rescue. Here's the very first roller application of the stuff I put on here. But uh, one roller did, uh, you know, 14 by 14 inches here, and I'm gonna peel some of this tape off a while before it dries. So if I'm gonna put a second coat of this stuff on, I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. Just getting right up to the edge, maybe, and not, not going in the same place where the tape was. comes off on a nice crisp edge here. Uh, this, this piece is going to have to finish up this area here before I can peel it all off. So I've been at it for uh, maybe you know, five or eight minutes or so. I've got about half the front bumper done here. I wanted to take a close look at this and see it's it's not real fast drying stuff. Um, it's still it's still pretty pretty liquidy and and hasn't really tacked up, so uh, I was probably a little premature on 
pulling this uh, pulling this tape off so fast on my first pass. So this stuff seems like it's going to stay uh, pretty uh, liquid uh, for quite some time before it fully dries. But uh, you can see it was really easy to just uh, get in there on the Firebird emblem and just uh, squish it in with the roller and use the roller to get inside the fog light area there. So um, it's pretty easy to roll on and a little has gone a long way. I filled up the paint tray with uh, some more the Road Warrior Plus and started rolling it on and I think that much, uh, you know, about a, maybe a fifth of, of the bottle is going to do the whole front end here real easily. Um, so I'm going to continue on and uh, see where we end up in a couple more minutes and if the uh, driver's side uh, flashes off or dries anymore in this amount of time. All right, the driver's side's starting to dry up a little bit so right here. Right here, this uh, area's getting clear, like there's this big blob that's white and this area's becoming clear. You can see right there, that thin area is becoming a little clear. So I uh, missed a spot there that's becoming clear. Um, anyways, I'm gonna peel some of this paint off. I mean the painter's tape off of this driver's side. Maybe. Nice sharp edge there. And I kind of have a blob there. Might wait. Might wait just a few more minutes for this edge to dry up uh, right in front of the headlight. Hey, so uh, does anybody know what this stuff smells like? Because it reminds me of a cross between uh, Elmer's glue and something from art school uh, in college a long time ago. I don't know if I was painting with uh, some kind of, I don't know, acrylic paints or some other medium. If you have any ideas, put it in the comments. So uh, with all this white stuff on the front of the car, it kind of looks like my car could pass for the uh, camouflage C8 if I would drive it outside right now. I've uh, finished off the passenger side here and peeled off some of the tape. Uh, right here, this was starting to dry really fast. You can see that it's very clear and I could almost detect the edge getting peeled up here. It actually hasn't pulled off, but I could just kind of see it come up a little bit. And uh, of course, you can see here, the car, I'm gonna get the reflection off of there, where I put it on a little thin, it's dried much faster than where it's been put on much thicker. Driver's side, already starting to show some clearing there, and it'll be dry, you know, give it another uh, 15 minutes probably and it might be ready for a second coat. I'm not sure how dry this has to be in order to put the second coat on. What the heck is this? The red dye or paint on the red handle of this has somehow just come off on my finger. Maybe it was from touching some of this stuff and rubbing it around on here. Huh. Be careful. You don't want to be tracking this red dye all over the place. So it's been about 25 minutes maybe, haven't been keeping track here, but the uh, driver's side is mostly dried and uh, it kind of looks like you'd expect. It looks like, uh, you know, when you roll uh, paint on your walls in your house with a roller, it has that, that texture to it and you can clearly see the difference between where I had it masked off and where it's on the front bumper there. You know, the whole, the whole front end has that textured yet still kind of glossy look to it. Um, I've got a lot of big white blobs that still haven't totally cured yet where I put it on kind of heavy. Um, you can see if you can kind of tell here. You can kind of see your roller marks and stuff if you put a big a big glob like like right there. It's going to dry a little higher. Same thing where I put some extra there. So instructions say that you want to have kind of a big glob around the edge so you can peel it off easy. But um, you know if you uh, are concerned about how this stuff looks at all, try to do a reasonably decent job putting it on with a roller. I think I got a couple of weird vertical roller marks here, um, you know, but this bird is going to be nice and protected. I'm definitely going to put a second coat uh, on that. Um, and it's, it's turned out how I, uh, pretty much how I expected it. So uh, it's looking, looking real good. You know, it'll be interesting to see it out in the sunlight uh, from, from 50 feet away or so. You might not be able to tell. Uh, we'll see. We'll take it out in the sun. Uh, I think maybe tomorrow it's going to be sunny. 
Also just wanted to note that if you have a Firebird Trans Am, you probably want to do some of this back here because I've been getting loads of stone chips in the back edges of these little fake vent things from the tire kicking off stones, especially at autocross. We have a very uh, gravelly uh, part of one venue that gets kicked off and when you turn, it would just plaster these little areas back here with stuff. So, you know, you could probably get some flat paint protection film on the back of there, but uh, this stuff is just made for doing this. So I'm gonna put a second coat back there to keep those protected. And I just freehanded this. I just wanted to see how it would go freehanding it with the roller. So after applying Road Warrior Plus film, what do I think? Number one, it is easy to put on. It only took me uh, about an hour or so, and I was doing it in my garage making this video at the same time. Uh, number two, it is very economical compared to what you're gonna pay to putting actual paint protection film on the front of your car. This is dirt cheap at uh, 30 or 40 bucks for uh, 40 bucks for two bottles. Uh, that's gonna last you a long time. It's not the same as paint protection film though. If you really want that uh, film that looks exactly like the finish of your car because your car's a daily driver, um, then you're gonna wanna get that paint protection film. I had to choose this uh, Road Warrior Plus roll-on because the front end of my car is just so curvy. There are so many nooks and crannies where the paint protection film isn't gonna go. I do have standard paint protection film on my daily driver and the bumper shape of that car is a lot uh, simpler and more basic. And even though it does have some uh, cutouts for fog lamps and that sort of thing, there are even uh, places where they had to cut the paint protection film where they couldn't uh, stretch it far enough to put it inside the curb. So even actual paint protection film um, might not reach every single nook and cranny corner of your bumper, uh, you know, even on a car that has a very flat, um, Kind of shape bumper on it. Um, if you want to use this for a track day, I think this is fantastic. Um, it's easy to put on. In the sunlight, it's probably going to dry faster than when, when I use it. I just had it drying inside my garage, so it was kind of cool in here. I'm going to make a little correction from what I said initially on my first recording of the video. I think you can get this rolled on the front of your car at the racetrack or at the autocross in about five minutes or so, or perhaps a little bit longer than that, depending on how complicated the front end of your car is. Uh, and then, you know, you're gonna give it 20 minutes or so, uh, at least to dry. I actually haven't had the chance to take it off yet since I just put it on a few days ago. So I'm gonna see uh, over the course of a couple of days or uh, weeks here, how it holds up. Uh, but from far away, it does look good enough. Um, you know, the, you saw the video of how it looked outside when I had the car outside. Looks pretty nice, um, and this definitely makes the sheen of the car look a little different. If you don't have a black car, any other color car, you're probably not even going to notice the Road Warrior Plus film quite as much because it's going to be a lot lighter and you're not going to see the, the delineation between the shiny part of the car and where the Road Warrior Plus texture is. So on any other color car, um, you could probably leave this on and, it, and you're not going to notice it quite as much. So again, if you want stronger, uh, protection because you do hit a lot of stones or bugs with the front end of your car get the regular paint protection film if your car has a very flat surface on the front bumper use that uh, but you can even use this roadwear plus on top of the regular paint protection film if you just don't want to clean your car so much you know uh, if you're going to a track day even on top of regular paint protection film i think roadwear plus is definitely uh, a benefit and well worth the cost that it is to uh, purchase it and to take a little bit of time to apply it Hey again, it's Chris, and now it's time to take off this Road Warrior Plus film, and uh, let's see the condition that it's in, and where I've used it additionally since the first video. So you saw me apply the Road Warrior Plus to the front of the car here, and you can see I've got loads of bugs all over it. I've been on a several hour trip to a autocross in a different region, 
and uh, killed lots of bugs. I've also had to put on the National SCCA sticker and the BF Goodrich tire sticker, which these are um, individually cut out letters here, big vinyl letters. And on the side, on the morning of, I put a stripe of Wear Plus and put these stickers on there. And you can see the national sticker on a spot back there. I made sure that I used a big glob on the edge there, so this will be easy to pull up. So I'll be really interested to see, uh, as well as I'm sure you'll be interested to see, how well all these letters come off in one shot when we wet it down. I'm gonna roll it out here into the driveway and uh, start to do some washing on it. A little tough getting started. I to use a bunch of water. Now it's coming off. Big letters here are definitely putting up some resistance. A little bit, just a just my fingernail under them just a bit to start the corner. I didn't have to get the corner on that one. I can peel it, I'm not even using my fingernail right here on this D, it's just peeling right off. Same thing with that O. Came right off and I'm being real gentle when I pull it. Real gentle, or else this is easy to rip. I'm gonna pull this letter a little bit because it's gonna rip. If it's not thick enough, it looks like it's gonna rip. Boom, all the letters taken off. All taken off in just a couple minutes. I even put this over top of dirt. You can see I, I had to drive through some, uh, not through a rainstorm, but after it rained, so a lot of spray from the highway was on the car. I just put the Road Warrior right on top of the dirt. I was just real gentle and not push it all around and scratch it. Um, but it just came right up, and obviously it's super clean right here now as well, because the whatever dirt was embedded in the Road Warrior just got pulled right off uh, when I cleaned it. So I just have to have to clean the edges a little bit. There's just a hair of residue around here where, you know, when you kind of roll and you didn't get a thick edge there, if it just kind of faded out, you had to do it. You had to, you have to wash that a little bit. Remember, I put some road wire down here beside these little vents. I don't really want to take that off, but since I'm going to wash the whole car, probably going to pull that off anyways. There we go. Just had to use my fingernail just a little bit to start here. I didn't want to pour 500 gallons of water on here to soften it up. I figured I'd soften it up enough. So here with this sticker, I'm going to use my fingernail to make sure I get under that sticker to get it started. Peeling off really easy. I'm just being real gentle while I'm pulling this. It's kind of faded off here. I didn't put a thick edge on this on this edge on the top or on this right side. So I'm pulling from where I made the thick edge to where I know it's a little thinner on the top. There, the sticker's off all the way. Boom. It all comes off. I even have a a big clean spot there now. So when I was driving up to this autocross in another region, 
We were driving on the highway after it had rained, so there was some spray from other cars that was hitting me. And uh, after that happened, it seemed like the Roadware Plus really held up well to just a little bit of light water. It didn't peel off. It didn't seem like it got too soft when it did get a little bit of water log. I could see some bluish or lighter spots on it, so um, it's not going to hold up to a huge soaking. But you can see from how difficult it is to remove it, it's not just going to... Uh, f fall off like some water-based paint or something like that it does take some effort to peel this off so it is totally going to hold up to a little bit of a shower uh, or driving through some light rain for a while A suggestion I have is that you might want to wait until the end of your car washing to peel the Road Warrior off. Um, you can give it some extra soaking as you wash the hood or the fenders or whatever. It's definitely easier the more you saturate it. And uh, it is quite easy to peel off, but it did take a lot of water initially to get it softened up. So uh, if you do it uh, toward the end of your car washing, um, you won't have to waste so much water just to oh, saturate that for so long. Boom, all dead bugs cleaned off in, what was that, 15 seconds or so, perfect. Okay, so I'm done washing the car and pulled it back in the garage just to get a close up of some of the details here. So here is where I put some of the Road Warrior Plus for those Bridgestone stickers and there's just a little bit of residue left. So this kind of looks like where I had rolled it on but it was really thin, like I didn't put that big heavy line up here so um, I didn't scrub the car real hard when I was washing it I was just rubbing it lightly just to get all the dirt off the top um, but I'm probably gonna want to get something else uh, to try to peel some more of this these little specks off of here but the front end here right in front of my headlight try to get a, an angle on here you can kind of see I had the Road Warrior Plus up to here and then not between the headlight and here so there is a, just a little bit of a visible line and I can't tell if it's 
really any leftover Road Warrior residue or just the fact that I, you know, had this part covered for so long and this was exposed. But I can see a little bit of a line, feel a little bit of a line there. It does feel like a lot of the wax has been pulled off of the front end. Um, it definitely doesn't look as shiny as it was before. Um, so this could use a re-waxing uh, as well. But like I said, it was clean and covered, so re-waxing it should be a piece of cake. So here I'm trying to get off the little residue bits that were left over and I'm just using the hottest water I can possibly get out of my tap and a uh, very soft, you could use a microfiber towel. I'm using a window cleaning uh, Tyvek kind of towel um, because that's also actually very good at taking off dirt if you've ever used those for your glass. I highly recommend these Tyvek towels. I think they're called uh, incredible towels or something like that. Um, and I'm just saturating the area and letting the hot water go on top of the Road Warrior Plus to dissolve it away. And uh, I did the other side, it worked pretty well. I'm not applying enough pressure to scratch the car and of course I've already washed it so all the dirt should be off of it now. But you can run your finger over and feel where there's any left and then just saturate that area and let the heat and the water do the work for as long as you can keep it in one area and it slowly dissolves away. So a couple final thoughts after applying the Road Warrior Plus and now taking it off. Number one, always try to put a thick edge around all the edges on the area. It's super important to put it on thick and put on that thick edge around the uh, around the edges. Don't let a thin edge happen or else that is going to be harder to remove. Like you saw those little specks that were left over were really hard to take off. I did have to use a lot of water and scrub them for quite a while to get them all off and make it clean. Uh, be patient with enough water to take it off initially. You're gonna have to saturate it really well until you get it started. Maybe use your fingernail a tad bit. It can handle some light rain without coming off so you don't have to worry about getting hit in a, in a slight rain shower um, who knows, I, I don't really drive my car in heavy downpours and I haven't had that happen yet. So I don't know how it's going to handle under a very torrential rain for very long. Uh, hot tap water can certainly help take it off. Hot water will you know, help dissolve a lot of things. So if you need to get off those little specks, use hot water. And uh, probably take it off towards the end of washing your car. If you're going to wash the whole car and you just did maybe the front bumper and like I did the front bumper and uh, areas toward the bottom, you can wait till the end of the car washing to uh, take that off so you can just use some of the extra water to help saturate that and, uh, and uh, get it loosened up uh, before you take that off at the end.